I saw also, now we have diseases that are coming. We have seen many diseases. And all that we have, we have been praying about it and we are praying. And uh, you will have another disease more deadly. And I'm, I saw it coming from the sea. They will investigate it, they will find it, it will come from the ocean. More deadly than HIV and cancer. Very fast, very aggressive. How are they going to bring it out of the sea? I don't know. Is it a weed? Is there a creature in the ocean? Is it food from the sea? But it will originate from under the waters, from the ocean. And thousands, if not millions, if not billions, will die. So, don't say it wasn't public, it's public. Hmm. But we need to keep on praying because they can prevent it, they can slow it down, but they can't cure. It's a problem. I'm concerned. That's why the Holy Spirit gives me all this information. I'm concerned. I want people to live. I want people to be happy. But these are things that we can pray against. Pray against. Because this is not good news. Imagine sitting there watching your screen and you're seeing millions upon millions of people dying. Thousands of people in one city dying in one day. It's a plague. It's a plague. It will be serious. It will be something that you seem like it, it flies in the air. You will not want to look at that. You will not want our learned people who break down, they will cry. They will call upon the Lord. They will even call upon the Lord. They will ask God to help them. They will even insult God. It will be painful. It will be painful. It's a plague. But why am I coming to you? So that we pray against it. Again, remember the prophets that I gave about a disease. Now each time I'm praying, I'm seeing now it's coming closer and closer and closer. A disease from the sea which will kill more people than any disease that you have fought before. Very fast. And I saw people falling like leaves and dying. They will do everything to investigate where is it coming from. They will not find. But eventually they will confirm what I'm telling you. Something will bring that disease from the ocean to the land of the living. It's a plague that only God can stop. Barricaded and guarded by police with masks, Chinese authorities have traced a new deadly virus back to this seafood market in the city of Wuhan. They say a new strain of coronavirus originated here has struck dozens of people and put an entire region on edge. A newly identified coronavirus that emerged in the city of Wuhan in central China is now known to be transmissible between people. 
The Chinese President Xi Jinping says his country is waging a serious fight against the demon coronavirus outbreak. I saw it coming from the sea. A new deadly virus back to this seafood market. The virus was first identified at a market in the city of Wuhan last month, which was selling seafood. Is it food from the sea? Seafood. Seafood. A local seafood. The source of the coronavirus is. It's the wildlife and seafood market. Very fast, very aggressive. The virus is starting to spread faster. And this and new coronavirus, I guess, uh, definitely this looks like it spread fast. Very fast, very aggressive. <laughs> well, we certainly know that there are a lot of people who are infected without symptoms. There have been anecdotal cases. You will have another disease more deadly. The death toll surpasses the SARS outbreak that killed 774 people worldwide. The infection rate for this outbreak is much higher. The death toll is larger than the SARS epidemic in 2002 and 2003. Makeshift hospitals are one of the defining images of this epidemic. But this is the original in Beijing, built in seven days to fight the SARS outbreak in 2003. Now they are rebuilding it to fight a new virus. One that has killed more people in China alone than SARS did worldwide. Back here in the US, the coronavirus outbreak has led to the first federal quarantine in decades. It wasn't just a lack of news, it was a cover-up, as authorities hit the scale of the epidemic. SARS, short for severe acute respiratory syndrome, killed 774 people in eight months. This time, things are different. You will have another disease more deadly. This was already ambitious, to build a thousand bed hospital from scratch in less than a week. But authorities have decided it will not be enough. A second, bigger hospital has been commissioned. It will be something that will seem like it flies in the air. Making a big U-turn on its previous announcement that there was no evidence to suggest aerosol transmission was possible, Chinese health authorities admitted for the first time on Wednesday that COVID-19 can spread through the air. China's National Health Commission admitted that the novel coronavirus can be transmitted through aerosols. It appears the virus could be aerosolized. And thousands, if not millions, if not billions, or die. Look at China's own actions. They have quarantined 60 million people, 60 million, more than the entire population of our West Coast. The coronavirus could infect 60% of the global population, 60%, that's an awfully big number. It's two thirds of the world population. And this is according to Hong Kong's leading public health epidemiologist. This is Professor Gabriel Leung. The man who played a crucial role during the SARS outbreak he has now sounded an alarm. He says the cases so far may just be the tip of the iceberg. The worst is yet to come. He says when China's massive lockdowns have not worked, what good will these mobility restrictions do in other countries? According to him, instead of containing the virus, the world will have to work to mitigate its effects. And the effects, I can tell you, are deadly. We can prevent it, we can slow it down but they can't cure. Right now, we really don't have a cure for the coronavirus that's circulating that everybody is talking about. So unfortunately, uh, there's no specific known treatment for um, uh, coronavirus. They can't cure. We really don't have a cure for the coronavirus. Therefore, I have been personally directing and deploying the epidemic prevention and containment work this time. We can prevent it. Prevention. Our learned people will break down, they will cry. Taiwan's health minister made headlines when he broke down in tears Tuesday night over the coronavirus outbreak. And I saw people falling like leaves and die.
It's a plague. Churches in China and around the world called for three days of fasting and prayer in early February. It is our way to cry to God to repent and ask God to stop this plague. It's a plague. God to stop this plague. I saw it coming from the sea. Seafood. From the sea. Seafood. From the sea. Oh, seafood. From the sea. And seafood. From the sea. And it will originate from under the waters, from the ocean. We need really to pray. China, China there. China. It's, don't compare it to anything. If that is to happen, my question is, who is safe now? It will take you time and days to gather the bodies together. You listened to my message last year that this is fearful, very, very fearful. And I came out at the beginning of this year, yes, to say, Last year will end March, and the year will continue to be very, very, very fearful. Till this month, this month 27, it will be over. By the end of this month, whether we like it or not, no matter medicine they might have produced, to cure whatever. It will go the way it comes. If, if it is not medicine that brought this to the war, medicine cannot take it out. It will go the way it My concern now is not you. My concern is about your career. You can't travel freely. You can't go freely. I know many places you do businesses. You can't go there. Even if you go there, the embarrassment you go through is too much. The embarrassment. People are now using it in every port of entry, using it to embarrassing people in every point of entry all over the world. Whether you like it or not. It's not you, per se, but your career is what we are talking about. Your career. And we cannot separate you from your career. We can't separate you from your career. Your career is what we are talking about. You need to travel outside your country. You need to move out. Your friend need to come to you. You need to go to your friend. This is what life is all about. But this Satan has come. And you have children all over the world. Your children are living in different countries. Your family are in different countries. The place of heart. But suddenly, they are peace. This is what we are talking about. So, this March, from now to that 27, talk about. It will continue today, tomorrow. And it will just continue to deny you see what will happen.